welcome back to Beer Barbecue Baseball. Uh, got another gift. This was given to me, uh, I don't know, some time ago, four or five months ago. It is the Winter Holiday 2022 uh, Holiday Small Batch. Uh, it is a stout. Uh, stout golden in color, aged on coffee beans, cocoa nibs, and vanilla to give the perception of a dark stout. Okay, so it's a gonna look like a lager. Uh, the print is the way the color is. I just can't quite make out what a lot of it says. So, an Anheuser Busch product, and uh, just to give you a little bit on the back here. Our single batch winter holiday stout was made especially for our friends and families to enjoy this holiday season. Inspired by the classic holiday memories of old, this special batch is brewed with two row roasted oats, Morris otter, and caramel. To complement this holiday beer, cinnamon, and allspice add a twist to the average stout. We hope you enjoy our holiday beer and celebrate as we embark on the next year and work together to create a future with more cheers. All right, well, we all know the situation that Anheuser-Busch is currently in. Uh, I think, I think it says it's 11%, but That might say seven percent. I don't. I can't read it. So the way they have the color against that black background is just very difficult to see. So just a plain black label. So I'm not sure if this was given to the employees only, uh, but I have one. Ooh. I already see that. Alright, I'm just going to use the trusty old tulip. Oh, wow, look at that. Never had a golden stout before. It is a dark gold, maybe even borderline amber. I'm going to say it's more amber than gold, but maybe not. It is getting dark out here, so it's a little hard to see. Hmm, it does smell nice. Lacing hangs around for a little bit. It, uh... It smells sweet, kind of like a... Like a chocolate candy bar. And I can get these spices, the coriander. And the reason those, I can pull those out is because I'm not a big fan of that. So hopefully it's, it's good. Cheers. Very different. Those have some nice carbonation. I purposely have the had waited to do this just so it age a little bit, but It's good. It, it's very, very different. I, I, I'm having a hard time even pulling the descriptive words for it out. Definitely kind of a little bit sweet, but it it really dries your tongue out pretty dank. And my tongue is very dry.
imagine as this warms up, it will pull out different flavors. I'm already starting to get the, the chocolate factory type aroma or flavor. Mm. Yeah, those cocoa nibs are really coming out now that it's warming up. And it's not going to take long to warm up out here. I'd say it's still about 90 here in St. Louis at 8.30 at night. So, that's all I'm getting now, is the cocoa nibs. Yeah. I can't even make out, maybe it's 7.1%, it's a 700 milliliter bottle. When I do figure it out, I'll, I'll put it down in the description or in the title. But uh, I don't know if anybody's had this before. I've, I've never seen it out in the stores. Well, excuse me. But uh, it was definitely good. I'm going to let this warm up a little bit and finish this glass. And maybe in a, another 10 minutes, come back and see what, see what it looks like then. But if you've had this, let me know. And uh, I'm going to score it. <sighs> I'm going to score it a four. Um, every now and then, every, every now and then, a different sip, I get a little bit of the coriander, um, which I shouldn't hold that against the beer makers because I don't like coriander. But. Uh, It, it definitely tastes like a good quality beer. It's a good looking beer. Looks like it's a little lighter now for whatever. Maybe that's just the light. So, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and hit that big old thumbs up and watch more of my videos. Cheers.